final round of XCR19 was the town relays, and the outcome would decide a few of the season premierships. For the Premier men, St Stephen's had a big ladder lead going into this round. At the first changeover, it was Adrian Potter of Box Hill ahead of Jack Davies for St Stephen's. But at the second change, Tom Thorpe had moved St Stephen's into a slight lead over Box Hill. As the race progressed, St Stephen's consolidated their lead with Toby O'Brien, King Nyok and James Coleman. Then they were anchored home with Sean Guinea to claim their first winter premiership in 46 years. Box Hill finished second and Glen Huntley third. So did you have a good strategy before you uh, started today's event? Yeah, we, um, we're we pretty lucky, you know, we have a pretty good sort of group sort of in the group chat and things like that, so we knew sort of what we had to do. It was a matter of just, you know, we wanted to make sure that we, you know, finish it off with a win. It's, the credit's got to go to a lot of people in the sort of administration of the club. Nick Bowden does an incredible job with that stuff. Jamie Wax stuff too. I mean, he's, you know, working full time, these guys, and they sacrifice so much of their time to make sure that we have people, you know, turning up to each team, trying to make sure that you know there's younger guys coming through because we're not going to be around forever. So. Oh, it looks very exciting, Tim. It's uh, obviously been something that we've been building towards over the last couple of years, but even um, to, to reference the fact that it's 1973 was the last time the club won a men's winter premiership, so it's really good. And through the 90s and the 2000s, we we're really struggling for numbers and, and participation. So to see them rebuild um, in the last 10 to 15 years and to get the uh, the personalities that we've now got and the performance that we've now got, not just with the men's premier team, but to have two athletes in Doha or currently preparing for Doha and to see our women's team just starting to emerge as well is really exciting. And here are the top eight results for the premier men's race. For the Premier women, it was a much tighter affair. Collingwood and Glen Huntley were equal on ladder points at the start of the day. But it was Melbourne Uni with Lisa Waitman running a fast 12 minutes 15 to lead at the first changeover. Tammy Quinn had the prize in front of the Hunters in the Premiership contest. Melbourne Uni were unchallenged at each leg with Sarah Billings, Linda Reid, Kiara Boyd Squires, and Eleanor Benson taking the win by a minute and a half. However, the real race was being run behind the white train. Collingwood led Glenn Huntley at each change. Although that was the order at the last changeover, Rebecca Bigley of Glen Huntley passed Amy Robinson mid-leg. But Robinson fought back and came in ahead of the Hunters for Collingwood to claim their very first women's winter premiership. Well, Amy, congratulations. Collingwood, finally women's premiers for XCR19. You must be thrilled. I am so thrilled. Thanks, Glenn. Yeah, this is a landmark in the history of the club, so I'm really excited. Now, Glenn Huntley were coming home like a steam train. Talk me through that. Well, I thought we had it easy. I honestly was just taking it easy. My first K was a four-minute K, um, running so slow up the hill because everyone said don't don't cook yourself up the hill. Next minute, Glenn Huntley fly past me. I thought, oh wow, I better stick on her. So stuck with her. She I maybe got about 30 or 50 metres ahead. And I thought, nah, come on, Amy, a short term, short term pain for long term game. And yeah, just kicked it home. So I was pretty happy with that. And here are the top eight results for the women's race. There was also a battle in men's division too. APS and Bendigo were level on ladder points and whoever got home first between them would win the pennant. With Geordie Williams, APS changed first ahead of Bendigo. APS kept the lead throughout, but at the second last changeover tried to mess it up with no outgoing runner ready. The Knox Club led for most of the race and even finished just before the Premier Men. But it was APS ahead of Bendigo to take the Division 2 Premiership. Keep watching Aspect TV for more athletic action.